Hi guys, German Prepper here. Europe is on the brink of mass civil unrest and the first protests have begun. Governments across Europe are panicking and talking of a war footing as the conflict in the East rages, energy crisis deepens and recession begins. Listen through guys, it is no exaggeration to say that this is quickly becoming the most dire time since World War II. Firstly, to the Czech Republic, where over 70,000 people have protested in the capital Prague against their government, calling on the ruling coalition to control soaring energy prices and denouncing the European Union and NATO. Events co-organiser Jiri Havel made this statement. The aim of our demonstration is to demand change, mainly in solving the issue of energy prices, especially electricity and gas, which will destroy our economy this autumn. What is really explosive, guys, is that the protest rally was called by both right-of-centre parties and the Communist Party under the slogan Czech Republic First. Does that sound familiar to you? The mood was summed up aptly by one banner. The best for Ukrainians and two sweaters for us. The protest at Wenzler Square in Prague city centre was held a day after the government survived a no-confidence vote. Opposition leader Andrei Babis has told lawmakers... Prime Minister Fiala and his ministers are not able to run our country. The energy crisis has completely got out of their hands. Guys, the fact this no-confidence vote was held at all demonstrates how this global energy crisis is fueling political instability everywhere, as soaring power prices stoke inflation already at levels unseen in three decades. The protest in truth was not just about the war and its consequences, as quietly reported in the mainstream media but also about medical mandates and the admission of unending waves of migrants. The demonstrators called for the resignation of the government, which is accused of supporting Ukraine with sanctions against Russia, while Czechs are forced to suffer from massively rising heating costs as a result. The Czech Republic has taken in around 400,000 war refugees from Ukraine and has supplied the country with significant amounts of military goods and humanitarian aid. Just as telling as these emerging protests are, the Czech government response is even more so and should chill us all to the bone. Prime Minister Peter Fiala, who leads the supposed centre-right five-party coalition, has commented on the protests. The protest on Wenzler Square was called by forces that are pro-Russian and close to extreme positions and are against the interests of the Czech Republic. It is clear that there are Russian propaganda and disinformation campaigns on our territory and some people just listen to them. So there you are guys, oppose the government and its failed policies in a time of crisis and you are branded Russian sympathisers and enemies of the state. Yet again, another leader is demonising his political opposition and all those who support them while clearly setting the state against them. In Germany, we are also seeing the left and right announcing anti-government protests. Trade unions are mustering to get people onto the streets. The left party wants to demonstrate under the motto, hot autumn against social cold. At the AFD party, the motto is currently hot autumn instead of cold feet. In Saxony, the Free Saxony party announced directly, Free Saxony support the Monday protest by Soren Pellman and the left, together against those up there. The IG Metal union boss, Jörg Hoffman, has stated, We are now not speculating about a hot autumn, but will then call on our members to protest if sufficient relief steps are not decided. Guys, these protests by both left and right and bolstered by the unions are now coming together with the same goal as the Czechs of rising up in opposition against the government. Such an alliance is extraordinary and really there is no telling how far this will all go. A question for you all now to end. Have you considered protesting your government or should we as preppers stay well clear of such protests? As always, looking forward to reading your answers. Keep prepping guys. Cheers for now.